Well, Brian, thousands of lives were certainly changed that night. And while not everyone still healing as part of the settlement, there are other groups and organizations that are trying to help those coping. 8 News Now reporter Sally Hadamia was live near the festival grounds near Mandalay Bay, and she spoke to a survivor about how the tragedy continues to impact her three years later. Sally? Denise, although Las Vegas is a tight community, many survivors tell me they are still hurting from this tragedy that happened here three years ago, and there are many ways some are choosing to cope. That's why Healing Inc. program is stepping in to make a difference. They say they are using tattoos as a powerful force for good. The Healing Inc. project has 17 artists, and together they are tattooing 18 people at Seven Tattoo Studio. Five others at a separate location. Sue Ann Cornwell is a survivor. She tells me one October means unity, family, and remembering those who died. I try not to focus on the tragedy as much as I do the family that I've acquired since then. I like to focus on what we have accomplished since this tragedy with the random acts of kindness that occur on a daily basis and on our angels' birthdays. Sue Ann Cornwell says her tattoo will represent the day it happened, the fact that she survived, and the angel she tried to save, 50-year-old Denise Berdidus. Healy Inc. tells me the recipients came through word of mouth, and within two weeks, they got more than 100 applications. Reporting live near the Mandalay Bay, Sally Jaramillo, Ain't News Now. Sally, thank you. And be sure to join us tomorrow, both on air and online, as we commemorate three years since the 1 October shooting. We're going to have stories from the fallen as well as survivors. That's all going to be starting tomorrow at Good Day Las Vegas. Then be sure to join us at 4, 5, and 6, as we will be live from the Healing Garden. Tonight, people are reacting to more event venues finally being allowed to have people inside. We have team coverage. Joe Moeller on how major events at big venues could move forward. And Kate Houston on entertainers hoping to resume their shows. Let's begin with Joe right near Allegiant Stadium. Joe, what if any events and what events could happen in the near future? Yeah, hey there, Brian. People are definitely looking forward to getting back to sporting events and entertainment venues around town, like Allegiant Stadium here. Now, large events like the stadium here are permitted to have fans inside, but only 10% of the capacity for venues with.